All right, and welcome back to the shop. Today, we're just gonna do something random because um, I have a pet peeve and I need to take care of it today. Um, I have a couple photographs I will insert. Basically, I have this key smart thing, which is pretty cool, keep all your keys in it. And I made this key to fit in there, which is a duplicate to my vehicle key. I figured this would be better than carrying around a key ring, just to have this one thing in your pocket. Unfortunately, when I take this out, as you can see in the photograph, it doesn't fit because the sh little shroud they have so you can turn the ignition switch on stops this from entering all the way. So the only way to do that is to make this key longer. It needs to be about this much longer, so from where this little notch is to where the top part here. So I need to make another piece and we're gonna solder that back in there. So for that piece, I found this washer. It's about the same thickness. It's a little bit thicker than a key, maybe. I don't know, it might be just about the same. What we're going to do is cut a piece of it out and then add it to this one, which I've already cut the plastic piece off so I can preserve the original. This is a copy of this key. Dangly stuff on the keys. It's driving me insane. So we'll see what happens today. If you need to extend the key, this is uh, maybe a way to do it. So I scribed in some lines there. I'm gonna cut on those lines and then make that a rectangle that is vertical. All right, we've got that piece cut out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grind up to that scribe line on one side on the grinder and I'll check back in with you. I've got the chunk almost, you know, rectangular. I'm going to make sure the ends are square. I'm gonna take this key out and this is the one we're gonna work on. Okay, so as you can see, we have definitely added a good amount of length to this key. I think it should be enough. Okay, so I moved it over here onto the anvil because it's a little bit bigger surface area. I got these clamps. Hopefully I can get that heated up here and not really mess with the clamps too much, but it is pretty much ready to go. <clears throat> anvil is acting like a huge heat sink. So I think I need to get this stuff off. That's pretty hot. Okay, we've got everything cleaned up. We're back here. Oh, of course, now that piece is moving. <sighs> okay, so third time's a charm. Now I'm going to hold it in place with the bolts and try to reheat this again. Hopefully it won't move this time. All right, that time I think it took. Yeah, it looks like it almost went all the way through to the other side, so that's good. We'll touch up that side. All right, we sure are making a mess of this thing, but I think we're almost there. I've got this held back in. I'm going to just cut this, try again with placing a bead on top. I put a lot of flux in between the two parts. I'm going to place that right over the joint and hope for the best. Let's see how it looks on the other side. It's pretty straight. Still should be a key. Just make sure it is actually strong enough here. I think that'll work. So do I fix it now or do I go test it in the truck first to make sure it's actually long enough? Now the hole is going to be a little bit, so yeah, we've actually extended that key about half an inch. I'm gonna go ahead and just touch it up a little bit on the belt sander, and then we'll go check it before I do the final polish, but let's see what happens here. Yeah, I think we'll be all right looks perfect I think it's gonna be okay of course I'll find out in a minute when it's not when I get out there to the truck that actually works out pretty nice with the extra length on there 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and test this in the truck and then I'll come back in and do some final grinding so it looks a little bit cleaner. All right, the moment of truth. Does it fit? Plenty of room. Excellent. So now I don't have to carry that dangly bit anymore. That's gonna be perfect. So let's go inside and clean this up now. All right, so we're done. I came back in and just touched up those joints a little bit on the grinder, smoothed everything out. So now you can see it's nice and square. If I bend on it, the key actually wants to bend in the front before the spot. I was a little worried because of the tonal shift there on my uh, solder, but I can't break that. So I don't think just a little turn in the ignition is gonna hurt. You know, I'm putting way more pressure on that, on that joint. So, okay, I'm happy with that. I think it's good. Now I've got a nice simple device and you can open it like kind of like a switchblade so that's way better than it was. Decent project. Makes my life a little bit better because that thing was driving me nuts with the dangly stuff and now it's gone. So uh, I don't know if you have the same issue that I got here but uh, if so, this works. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Until next time.